Okay, we are recording now. Uh, welcome to the Chaos Web Content Meeting, uh, July 7th, 2022. Uh, we're getting a little bit of a late start, so uh, I vote we just jump right in. Uh, please go ahead and uh, add your name to the, uh, the Web Content Meeting document. And I will, the first thing on the agenda is the, the handbook. So with that, I will hand the discussion off to Ruth. Yeah, um, so let me, I think let me share my screen. I have to really talk open. I hope I don't share the wrong thing. Like, yeah, okay, can, can you see my screen? Is my screen visible? Yes. yes. Okay, great. So um Jura and I have been kind of like been we've been working on restructuring the handbook and this is the doc we are using to like track track it. So if you scroll down to Quest, question for you on the top bit. Uh, why are we why are we migrating to read the docs? So we use, um, so Sean kind of like used read the docs to kind of migrate the handbook from Git books, but we, we didn't really do that anymore. We didn't really use that again. Like it was just to collaborate because then with Git book, we could, Jaya and I could not collaborate. Only Jaya had like admin access. So we, since everything is now in the community repo, we do not need that anymore. So that was like earlier on. Okay, I would say I would say don't waste any time on read the docs. Uh, if uh, yeah, if you can, because yeah. this I don't we're not planning on using it. So any any time you put into it is uh, a little wasted. Mm -hmm. Um. So we kind of like worked on this section on this. I'm trying to find that. Um. So yeah. So on this docs, we are currently here. So. Um, from this part, um, this is what we have. Oh my God, I have made something. So from here, um, let me just, from this part, this is the structure we have currently for the handbook. So it's mainly review and maybe get taught. And also I think Yash is here as well. So if Yash has any thoughts, if any of these sections are um you know going to intersect with or not intersect or complicate the knowledge base so this is the structure we have the quantitative structure right now for okay. the hand yeah go ahead bro yeah so um here down to this part so this readme is just going to be in the community repo it's not going to be on the hand like on the web page, it's just going to be on the community repo since um, that's where we are pulling from. But this is the structure we have from about here to down to governance. So this is what we have right now. Okay, awesome. The from a knowledge based perspective and maybe you can comment on this as well yash uh, but from a knowledge based perspective i would kind of i would like to separate the how to contribute to chaos part uh, from the rest of the community handbook right so i'd like a i would like a knowledge base that focuses just on that how to contribute to chaos part Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, and then the 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 second knowledge base would cover kind of the rest of the community uh, information. So the okay. the for the second, I have a question, Kevin. For the uh -huh. second part, where you talk about covering other information, will that now be the handbook? Well, I think it's all the handbook. Uh, it's just from on the knowledge base, I think we want to separate the how to contribute part out from the community handbook 
so that we can uh, we can create a clear path to it for for new users. So it is so it is all part of the, the handbook. I'm just uh, uh, for Yash's uh, benefit. We're kind of talking about how we would uh, how we can kind of instantiate that on the website. Mm -hmm. right, so so you wouldn't need to change anything on your side. Okay. Um, yeah, from from our side, you've given us you've given us a nice uh, a nice separation, mm -hmm. so we can focus easily on that how to contribute part. Uh, so the so the how to contribute part can then have its own have its own knowledge base. However, it's still coming from the the community handbook. Okay, great. Got that. Thank you, Kevin. Mm -hmm. I think Georg has put down a question in chat. Uh, he's asking if anyone needs admin access to get books. Uh, I think yes, we would we would probably we would like the access. However, we are retiring retiring it. So so the access yeah. that we would get would actually be to retire it. <laughs> exactly. I think we get rid of it. Um, I don't think we need any. I thought uh, Elizabeth didn't reach out to you about that, Georg. Um, I don't think so. We didn't think, think we didn't think you had access to it. I think Elizabeth has admin access on the dash on the uh, Git book. No. Yeah, Elizabeth is an administrator. <laughs> I think the issue is the and administrator cannot give another person access. I think it was only um. I think the other person that worked on the handbook just had the access to give other persons access to it. We have more than 10 administrators on this. So really? I'll just invite you as a new administrator. Wow. Yeah, um, I was I was told we did not have access to it and we couldn't do anything with it. OK, well, you're all, I'll just invite all of you. To I don't. I don't need access. Um, maybe just just okay. Ruth. Maybe I get rid of it. <laughs> don't think we need it. More. Okay. Send me the um, the email address where you want the invitation. Okay. Um. So I think that's all for the, um structure so i think we um jira and i will keep working on adding the information to the community um repo okay excellent so kind of related to that uh i've been wireframing the website Uh, to try to determine which, what pages we need and what pages we we don't need. And hold on a second, let me go to the uh, so on the for the uh, the kind of the prototype. Um, Kevin, you're not sharing your screen, so. Yep. Uh, just I'm sorry. I was I was navigating there first. I'll, Share it in just a second. All right. Uh, so for the the prototype that we're thinking for the home page, there is a three image slider, and I should be sharing my screen now. Uh, so for that three image slider, each of these images should link to a knowledge base landing page. So this one here, the Chaos Newcomer Participation page, should go to a page that provides some general, some general information for newcomers, and then also includes the handbook. Uh, is that doable, Yash? Yeah, I think we can work on that. However, I think that our it would be better if we keep the newcomer section and the contributor section separate. Do you think we should do that? Or so this, do you think uh, 
awesome. The contributor handbook is what we just talked about. So the, the how to contribute documents. Yeah. Right. So the, oh, sorry, someone just entered. Uh, the, the, the how to contribute that, uh, uh, that we were just looking at. Mm -hmm. we, that that is actually information that new contributors would need. Okay. Uh, okay so there's again. so that's that's kind of the distinction that we were talking about earlier with the uh, the the how to contribute part of the knowledge base versus the rest of the community handbook, right? So like the rest of the community handbook, that's a ton of information that newcomers don't necessarily need right away. Uh, what they do need is some basic information on how to participate, and then they also need some 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 guidelines on how to contribute. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Does that? Yeah, I get the big idea. Okay. And then when we when we jump to different uh, different pages, there are kind of so this one here is the. I, I don't know what it's going to be called, but right now I'm thinking that it's it's basically the a page that that starts off with uh, basically the things we create, right? So the the metrics, the models, the implementations. Uh, so the metrics knowledge base would be included in this, maybe, and the models knowledge base, okay. uh, and then the how we work link would be connected to uh, kind of general working group information, the calendar, and then maybe we connect that to the rest of the community handbook knowledge base. And that's just a that's just a thought after I when I went through and I started trying to figure out where some of these pages would exist. Uh, it's it's uh, having these these kind of three paths off of the off of the slider is starting to make a lot of sense. Uh, does that does anyone else have thoughts on that? No, I, th I think um, it works like linking, especially linking them to the, the knowledge base, um, having them as like for metrics having that third slider, you know, linked to the metrics knowledge base makes a lot of sense. And I think it will also build into all the different pages we are going to have on the website too. Okay, so, so yeah, I would, I would need it. I would need a landing page for each of these. Uh, and then from there, we can kind of look at how what general information we want to provide on the page and how we can how we can incorporate the knowledge base into those pages and I, I, when i say knowledge base i mean knowledge bases <laughs> uh, because we i think the from our discussions we've we're, we're talking about multiple knowledge bases right yeah okay so so that from a from a design standpoint that's kind of where I'm leaning. Do you, do you have thoughts on that, Yash? Yeah, I, was, I did have a concern that oh, since we are implementing this slider thing, uh, mm -hmm. is there a way we can make this more intuitive for the user to, you know, sort of click on the slider and navigate through the whole three sections? Because uh, to me, when I first land, my first instinct is to just scroll down if the information I need isn't on the uh, at the top so i would say yes so the uh the slider right now is just a prototype this isn't this doesn't have to be what it would look like this is just it just gives the general idea so i actually agree with you it's not a the slide the slider design itself isn't super intuitive i would like something that kind of uh showed you that there were kind of three navigation elements in i mean they've got these three these three buttons down here, but it's not really explicit. I'd like something a little more explicit that showed you there were three uh, kind of navigation elements here. And then additionally, those navigation elements would be in our main nav as well. Uh, so. Okay.
Mm, that's I, I think yeah um there's also like a design that Belema has put up so um I think she's also noting this point as well with her design. Yeah, shall we uh shall we move to the uh the next agenda item? Yeah, sure we can. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna stop share. Uh so the the next website. So the next agenda item is the landing page demo. Yeah, and, so I think Belema. Hey, okay. Yeah, I think Belema is here as well. So I just want to share my screen, then she, you know, goes through over the design of what she has done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is she had like there are two different ones. Um. So this is the first one. Um. Mm -hmm. Which. Um, kind of like has that uh, the difference right now when it's implemented it's going to this should be clickable but right now it's it's just um, a prototype so that's why it's not clickable gotcha. um, then down to the next section which talks about what is chaos and you know then you could click here to learn more I think mm -hmm. they should lead into the about page yep yeah yeah and then the news and events um same you could see i think this should lead into that newsletter page where we have like detailed um of all the different uh chaos weekly newsletters we've we've done and um, then um she kind of experimented on the social part since we were not yet certain if we wanted to have socials on the landing page so this kind of like an experimentation that you know would need feedback if this works or if we should, we should take it out. Um, so this should lead into the Twitter page and then the supporting organizations and then the footer design, um, you know, folks can subscribe to the email address. Then we have like the different links, the Slack, um, Twitter, email and the GitHub link. So this is the first one. Then for the second one is, so okay the second one i think is just the arrangement of the colors so in, in the other one this color comes before um proceeds this color precedes this one um so that's the difference between the second one and then the third one is you see the um the header it's kind of different where um this other stuff are like separated they're all not together and the header this one the header is kind of like different um all these things the wording will be changed um and, and i think it's so she wants like some feedback i think she's on this call as well if there is there anything i missed out Bilema? oh no no and also i would like to know for the footer it would also need external links or the footer is okay the way it is like external links on the header, if it should be included on the footer also. And then if the colors are okay, if they are not contrasting or they are not too harsh, and I just want to know what you think about it. Hello? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. So basically you said everything that I would have said. So I just want to know if, Okay, if it looks good and your contributions. Uh, so I like the I like the black background on the uh, the header bit where the chaos logo is at. I was I was I was thinking that that was probably going to be the way we were going to end up going. Uh, the the only way to the only way to really incorporate the uh, uh, kind of that that the uh, those static color blocks that we're putting in. I think it's to is to start with a uh, a black header. So it, it looks weird when we have a when we have a a white header up here for some reason. Uh, so I like I like that. I think we should keep that. Uh, the two level navigation. I don't like that. Uh, I think we need to keep that to a a one one level. So that means we have um, this other one. Let me present yeah. that this one. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. Uh, from a uh, 
So from a wireframe standpoint, the, I think the community page, or the community, I need to share those documents with you. Uh, but I'll have to do that. Oh, I, I, I wireframed out most of the website. Uh, mm -hmm. So the, the main, the main navigation elements anyway. Uh, so the, uh, the main navigation is going to, I think it's going to drop down to five drop downs rather okay. than what we have now. Mm -hmm. uh, and some of the, a lot of these items that are on here will be incorporated into the knowledge base. Okay. Uh, and then some of the some of the items that are actually in the drop downs will actually be uh, rather than having their own separate pages, they're going to be merged into a uh, into pages that have kind of a longer scroll. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so some pages are merged and uh, some pages are going away. Uh, and then, uh, and then some of these navigation elements will be replaced by the, the knowledge base landing pages. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I'm not a fan of any of the sliders. I think we need to, I think we need to look for a slider on, uh, on WordPress that, that will do what we, we need to do, what we want, what we'd like it to do. Uh, it just, I think it needs to, it needs to kind of signal what those three things are rather mm -hmm. than, rather than just showing that there's a, uh, that there are three pages, right? So something that kind of previews the uh, the three navigation choices. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you can you scroll down a bit? Uh, so the what is chaos? That's great. And yes, this would this would go to the about page uh, in the uh, based on the current kind of prototype that we have and the and the wireframe I've been working on. That's perfect. Uh, scroll down. Uh, chaos news and events. This section, I would actually, I would like it to have three, three to four different content areas. So I'd only, I'd only like one of them to be the blog newsletter. Mm -hmm. I'd also, in this section, I'd also like to kind of call out uh, chaos cast, and maybe we could link to our. YouTube channel and Twitter content in this section as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so I kind of this section I view as like the the purpose for this section is push information, right? So everything in this section is stuff that Chaos has published, and we're it's content that we've created and pushed out, right? So if we think about what those things are. That's Chaos Weekly. That's our blog. That's Chaos Cast. It's the videos that we put on YouTube, and it's the content that we push on Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so I think for this one, I'd like it to include a little bit more than just the than just Chaos Weekly. Okay, so I I think this section comes into the Chaos Socials comes into just one section. Yeah, maybe merge those together. That would be, I think that would be. Uh, uh, best. Okay, so we have the, we have the next one, but and then the uh, supporting organizations. I like that as well. Okay, then the footer, and I like the footer too. Uh, I, let me hold on a sec. I think, and I think everything you have on your footer matches. Yeah, I think it, it matches what I had put in the wireframe as well. So I like it. And I think the, the, the question with footers is always if you want to duplicate the main nav within the footer. Yeah, I thought uh, that. And I, I think I'd like to see what that would look like, but I'll be honest with you. Ultimately, I think we probably do go with uh, uh, a footer that doesn't have duplicated main nav. So, so I think what you've what you've created here is is really good. 
Okay, that that uh, well done, Belama. So I think uh, Belama would note all these changes as well. I think in our next meeting we we'll have another review on it as well. So I like the colors. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think uh, I think Matt is going to be the. Uh, I think Matt will probably be the decider on the colors because he's mm -hmm. very very picky about that. Uh, we also need to, so we, we need to populate the, uh, the slider images because yeah. those, the slider image, the slider is so big that the, uh, the colors from the slider will really dictate whether or not the colors on the rest of the page work. Mm -hmm. I think so. So we do need to make sure that we have images that, that fit with the, uh, uh, Fit with the color scheme, uh, but I, I like the color scheme. Uh, okay, that that that's you... cool. yeah, sir. Okay. okay, is that helpful? Do, you, do you, is there are there any other questions? For now, there is no questions. It's actually, very helpful. I'd also like to see the wireframe you made. Yeah, I I did it on a whiteboard and I took pictures of it. Uh, so I need to uh, I need to share those. Uh, and it's not complete. It's just a. Uh, uh, but I will I will share them for the next. Well, actually, you know what? I'll I'll drop a, I'll drop them. I'll drop a link to them. Or or them into this document, and then I'll just uh, I'll I'll leave a message uh, on Slack that they're there. So actually, yeah, I'll just put the I'll put the images directly into this document. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, is there uh, do do we know do we have anyone working on the images for the slider? Um, for so I, I think Belama kind of picked those images um, um, herself. So I, I think we'll have to redo them or you know match them with um, what is going to reflect, like you said, with the feedback. I think probably we'll have a meeting with Yash to you know get more thoughts from Yash as well on redoing the sliders. Yeah, sure, we can have a meeting. Uh, so yeah, I think that so the images she chose were uh, I think she just chose them as placeholders. Uh, they come from the uh, 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 a website that uh, that we were looking at that we kind of liked, uh, and then one of them is just a, a chaos community picture. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so I think they're just placeholders, uh, and I know so on the. Yeah, what the, uh, hold on. So in our, in our current, the current kind of default image that we always have is this, this thing here, which was designed by uh, the Linux Foundation. Uh, and Matt is, uh, Matt is not wanting to keep using this. Yeah, I, I think uh, Matt mentioned. Okay, go ahead. Just maybe when you turn up. Oh no, no, go ahead. Yeah, I think Matt uh, mentioned. I mentioned uh, there was actually thought designer. I thought um, Django was. I think Georg Django was supposed to be in the meeting as well. Um, I think Django wants to work on changing the stuff, working on the stuff. Okay. Yeah, I would say we need we need some some kind of design images that are kind of similar to this uh but but different <laughs> right uh, but so yeah hopefully hopefully uh that person you mentioned is working on them yeah i think i'll step back with math as well 
So I think in the in the in that design document you had created, Ruth. I think I requested uh, three to four three to four images for each of these sliders, mm -hmm. so we could just kind of kind of peek at them and see which ones work best. Yeah, I think we'll get to work with that um, over the before the next web content meeting. And then also reflect on these other changes for the uh, landing page. Yeah. Yeah, nice, nice job uh, on the landing page, uh, on the prototypes. Thank you. So Thank you. Uh, I can I can actually so on the prototype that we have here, I can start implementing implementing some of those changes. Uh, Maybe I will start doing that. Uh, at the very least, I can start by going. I can change this to a, a dark background. How? What? Uh, which chaos image did you use for uh, uh, the? Is it the white the the white text? Oh yeah, okay, the white text. Okay. Yeah. All right. Did you create that, or did you grab that from the uh, from the branding documents we have? I think, Belma, that question is for you. <laughs> the image, which of the images are you talking about? Uh, the chaos logo with the white letters. Oh, okay. I got the SVG file from the branding documents. I included colors from the branding okay. documents. Awesome. Perfect. All right, uh, thank you. Uh, I think we're running out of time. So I will just let you go. Uh, unless, uh, Yash, do you have any, any comments you wanna make about the knowledge base or any updates? Yeah, I'll just keep working on the knowledge base. I think the community handbook structure does like that. The one we have in the doc oh, will be really help the mini knowledge base for the handbook. So yeah, I'll just go around and oh, yeah, give it a little try. All right. Thank you all. Uh, I will see you next meeting. Uh, let me know if we need to meet sooner. I know the we are on time limits for things and uh, I'm, I'm happy to do an, another web content meeting. Uh, I know it's bi-weekly, but we could do another one next week if you wanted. So let me know if, you, if, if we all need to, to meet again. Uh, otherwise, uh, as always, you're welcome to, to pop into the, the knowledge base meeting that we have weekly as well. All right. Thank you, um, Kevin. No, thank, right, you, thank you, Ruth. Bye. Bye.